So if you guys don't already know, I am the number one DM main in the entire world. This is not a opinion. This is a factual statement that is backed up by countless hours of gameplay and video recordings. However, some people seem fit to tell me that for some reason, their Klee can do more damage than my level 90 Beacon of the Reed C, four piece for Rajta's Glow with plus 20 sets with 10, 10 talents. And people think this little minion can do more damage. Today, I set out to prove that wrong. Now, usually in these videos, as is typical, I try to prove that the character is good and that you should build them. Uh, today, we're going to be doing the opposite. I am going to attempt to defend Dia's name and prove that she isn't, in fact, worse than the worst fire DPS in the game. Without further ado, though, let's get into the video. Also, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We're actually only like 100 away from 50,000, so if you subscribe today and we can hit 50,000, by the end of this video, I mean that would be absolutely huge and it would really mean a lot to me. Without further ado though, let's get in to the video. Now in order to defend Dia's reputation, I actually have to build a decent Klee. I can't just go in at level 40 and prove without a shadow of a doubt that Dia is better because frankly the numbers are skewed, it's not going to make enough sense. So we're actually going to need to build a good Klee and I think I can do that pretty well. Now I have started pre-farming all the materials for my lovely Klee, but there are still a couple more things we're gonna need to farm. I should have enough of the mob materials. For the mob materials, you need these sealed scrolls. I believe I have enough of these. As for her boss material, we're gonna need the Everflame Seeds, and I think I only need three more in order to get that to max. So let's go and kill the Pyro Regisfine one more time. Let's go level 40 Klee, you're gonna destroy that Regisfine. Okay, maybe that isn't the greatest idea ever. Instead, we're going to prove how good my Dia is, as we need to establish this at the start of the video so we can set a standard for what we want our Klee to do, which is obviously worse than what Dia is going to do. So let's see here. We're going to use our level 90 Dia to break the thing with the most pyro resistance in the game. Let's go. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, well, let me use Mona to break the core, and then we go in with Dia, and then we destroy him. Bang. And then watch this. The enemy with the most pyro resistance in the game. And Dia doesn't have up her burst. Physical! Woohoo! 1500 damage! Yeah! See, there we go. He's down again. Now watch this. Bang! 4, 4, 4, 4,000. I'm doing 4,000. Look, okay, I, can I can explain, right? So it's because this thing... Okay, that was super embarrassing. Please give me three. Let's go. We got three and a healing bonus hat. Okay, that was that was a bad example. Usually she would do more than that, but four thousand isn't that bad, right? You still do damage, right? Oh, the comments are gonna slew me. Anyways, back to Klee. Klee, it's time for you to get upgrades. Let's go. First upgrade. You're going straight to level eighty, my friend. If we want to prove how trash you are, we actually have to build you. Bombs, so heavy. See, she can't even carry the bombs in her backpack, bro. Like, theoretically, if Dia had the bombs in her backpack, I'm just saying she could carry it no problem. Oh, wait, the final ascension? Oh, yeah, we need animal mushrooms. All right, let me go get those quickly, and we will be right back. Alrighty, and that should be all of the animal. Philanimo? Philanimo. Phil animo. Mushrooms we need. Now let's finally ascend our Klee to level 80. Congratulations, Klee. This wouldn't have happened if I didn't get bullied. All the way to level 80? Wait, I can't take you to 80? No, this will not do. You must go to 80. I can't believe I don't have enough EXP books. I should be able to get some from the Serena teapot. Let me check. Big fat bird, where are you? There you are, Tubby. I'm sorry, you're not fat, Tubby. I didn't mean that. You're a skinny queen, Tubby. I can't believe I just said that. All right, here's what's books. Bang. And now, can we have a level 80 Klee? Now we can have a level 80 Klee with a ton of wasted EXP. Let's go, level 80 Klee. All right, and that is the end of our Klee building. Let's add her to the party. There we go, level 80 Klee. Now this is a fully built Klee. She is fully capable, as you will see here. Great weapon, great artifacts, and some superb talents. 
And now that we have successfully built our Klee, we are now going to set out to prove that she is worse than Dia without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, is that 93 burning damage? Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, oh, 147? Oh no. Oh no, Klee. 147, wow. And like that, we have successfully proved that Klee is in fact worse than Dia. Thanks you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Okay, no, I'm just playing on back. I'll actually build Klee, whatever. In fact, I already prepared for this video. I actually was really set on this mission, so I went all out getting Klee a new weapon, and I rolled for the Lost Prayer, which was a terrible idea, but I must prove my point at any cost. So she now has a five-star weapon, so there is no excuses for her to be trash. As for artifacts, I think we just go with the safe bet, right? We just go with a four-piece Crimson Witch of Flames. I feel like that's the safest option for Klee. We probably go crit damage. Wait, I don't have a crit damage hat? Oh my goodness, I don't have a crit damage hat. I don't have, I don't have, I have no good pieces in this set. Oh, oh, never mind. Yes, I do. Here, take this, Klee. And I guess you can take an attack sands too, but you're only getting the two-piece Crimson Witch of Flames because I don't have other good pieces. And then I guess we can give you a good flower here that has 30 crit damage, seven crit rate. And then as for the goblet, do I have any good pyro damage goblets? I have a feeling I don't. Oh, never mind, I do. Oh my gosh. And there's my Klee build. Literally every single piece on the build is above 40 CV besides this piece, which I just don't have anything better. So what do you want from me? So she has no justification for being bad. 85, 187, 112 recharge, 83 pyro damage bonus. But we still have one last thing to do before we test out Klee. We actually have to level up her talents, which I haven't done yet. And with Klee, you have to level up all her talents. And unfortunately, I don't think I have the books for it right now. I need a lot more of the teachings. I need more of the guides. And I need more of the philosophies. So that means we have to go do a little bit of grinding. Let's head over to the Forsaken Rift. And while we're here, we might as well test out our Klee as well. We can do a few minor upgrades so that she's actually somewhat viable in this domain. She's now at 516, which I know isn't very good, but I'm out of I'm out of green books. Now I know I've been slandering Klee a lot this video, but now we'll actually get to test her out. Is all my slander justified? We'll find out now. So for a Klee team, I've done a tiny bit of research. I think we want to go mono pyro for this domain specifically. So we're gonna go Bennett, Kazua, and then we're also gonna go Zhongling. This will essentially give the max buff possible to my Klee, and my Bennett and Kazua are well built. So let's see how much damage she can really do. It's time to find out if the little gremlin is actually better than the big badass swordsman, or swordswoman I guess. Is that a word? I don't know. Here we go! Bang! Group him up, put down Gwoba, and go- ow! Okay, first we actually have to melt the enemy. Ow, 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 okay, Klee's getting bullied right now. These slimes are bullying a little child. This is not nice. But let's go, Klee. Bang! Is that 16... 16... 16... 21... 21... Oh. Oh, my. Um... Uh... Dumpty Dumpty go. <laughs> oh, no! I didn't want Klee to do damage. Klee, stop. You're hurting my feelings. I tried so hard. Okay, Klee, I need you to, like, suck this time. Okay, you're not sucking. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my... Oh... You are destruction incarnate. Klee was not supposed to be good there. I'm confused. Bro, her talents aren't even good yet. Like, I, they're at like 5-6 right now. I don't even have her E level up. Stop being good. You're upsetting me. This time, though, she's going to do less damage. Guaranteed. Bang! Let's go, thingy. Bang! Oh my goodness, that's 19k. And she melts the enemies crazy quick. Pew! Go, little guy. Let's go, get him! Oh my goodness, you're crazy! I think I might have a new main character. Da da da! Boing! Let's go! 8k, 9k, 16k's, go Klee! 25k Klee hit? Oh my gosh! Okay guys, I might be coming around. I'm gonna be honest, my opinions may be changing. I think I've reinvented myself as a new man. I don't even think I'm playing her properly. I'm getting yelled at for the rotations probably in the comments below, but oh my goodness. Klee is the mass destruction archon. I'd like to make a public apology to all Klee maids out there. I'll admit this time, I was wrong. This Martian may be the most overpowered unit in all of Genshin history. Not gonna lie, I, I'm kind of just in disbelief. You weren't- you were not meant to be strong. Stop.
I haven't even leveled your talents yet. Oh no. And now I have to make like my third apology video this week for having a bad Genshin take. Anyways, let's max out all our talents. All right, we now have our talents at 666. I was gonna actually take them higher, but I forgot I have a single Ring of Boreas and that is it. <laughs> so I don't really have the ability to take them any further. So for right now, she's gonna be at 666, which is still pretty decent. A 666 Klee compared to a 1010 Dia, um, may or may not be stronger, but I am unwilling to admit either way. But now that we have a fully built Klee, a pretty decent Klee, maybe just a little bit more scaling on the talents, then she'd be a little bit better. But I think for right now, she's pretty decent. 2000 attack, 93 EM, 85 187 on the crit rate crit damage, 112 recharge, 32% in every single bonus. How did that happen? Um, anyways, Lost Prayer, level 90, and a two-piece Glad and a two-piece Crimson. Not too shabby. Now I think it's time for Klee's final arc. Her final mission today to finally prove her glory. Prove that she is the number one pyro DPS in the game. Yoimiya? Who? Hu Tao? Haven't talked to her before. Dilu? Trash. Klee? OP. Let's go. It's time, Klee. It's time to prove your greatness. I feel like I've gone through a whole character arc this video. We started off on the Klee hate train, but we're ending on the Klee hype train. Let's go. I think we're going to go with a different team this time than our mono pyro team. I think instead we're going to try to go with the Vapo team uh, for this floor. So we're going to go level 80 Klee. And then we're going to go our uh, Yelon for a little bit of Vaporize. And then we're going to go with Kozwa for some grouping. And Bennett as well. Basically the same comp just with Yelon instead of Xiangling. And let's go and try it out. How good is Klee Vapo? Well, we'll find out now. Here we go. Klee Vapo time. Bang, bang, bang. Get him. Go Klee. Bomb him. Ow. Let's go. 10Ks. Ah. Not as much as in the Melt domain, but that's just because Melt does more as a reaction. Hua, hua. Get him, Klee. 8Ks, 7Ks. You're dead. 23K, Klee. Calm down. Bang, bang, bang. Here we go. Vapo Klee, round two. Let's go. Blazing Delight. Yeah. 20k, 27. Oh my gosh. Klee, get him. <laughs> yes, Klee. Hua, hua, hua. Bang. 16k, and that's unbuffed. That's crazy. And die. And that, my friends, is the most destructive unit in the entire game, Klee. Now, that was actually a fun video. I really enjoyed that one. If you guys like Klee too, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. But for right now, that is going to be the end of our video for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all later. Peace.